Okay, so here's a little video about, about fast boats, performance boats, race boats. Now, I don't mean a boat with a cabin. If you can crap on your boat, it's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about bolts to the wall, no cleats, no lights, all go. A boat that's for nothing but go. Um, luckily, I got four years out of the last engine. Four seasons. Pretty impressive, considering. And of course, it's time to rebuild, which obviously has been done. And, and well, you know, there's the gear case that you have to rebuild every 30 hours because it takes the brunt of that. And don't piss and moan and cry about having to rebuild a lower case every 30 hours. That little gear case puts up with a lot of bullshit from that. And I'm impressed that it doesn't blow up as soon as you put the power to it. So the fact that I have to rebuild it every season, who gives a shit? You know, it is what it is. You know, you take it on the chin. But I, I know a lot of guys and I hear a lot of guys who are in this world or trying to get into this world and they're trying to save money. Give it up. You're not saving money. Don't save money. Spend it. So here I am. I mean, for Christ's sake, it, it took me two hours, two hours to make up these lines because I didn't want them to rub on anything as they crossed underneath the intake. And I wanted them to cross underneath the intake. I didn't want them on the outside of the intake. So it took two hours to make those lines, just those stupid lines. Um, never mind about the rest of it. But the reality is this. When you're doing this crap, when you're repowering, take it all apart, change everything. Change everything. Listen to this alternator. I didn't think I needed an alternator. I need an alternator. Seawater pump, change it. Just change it for the hell of it. Always change a seawater pump. Power steering, uh, who gives a shit? There's no problem there. But, you know, I, I don't know. I, I even caught myself having delusions of grandeur that I might get away with just, you know, freshening up the engine and putting the gear, pay, gear case back together. But the reality is this. When you got a hundred and whatever mile an hour boat, um, and that's what this is, you have to pay the price. Shut your ass, pay, and do. And if you're one of the fortunate ones that can afford to actually pay someone to do all of this shit and they do it properly, thank him. Thank him. Because you know what? This sucks. Saturday night, that's right. I'm not out hanging out drinking. I'm here with the machines and the dog. This is what I'm doing. Saturday night. And there's been a lot of Saturday nights. But when this is done, and I go out, and I step on the gas pedal, oh, it is so sweet. So, look, if, if you don't have the stomach for it, just stay out of it. Just stay out. You don't belong in it. Uh, if you like throwing money in the toilet, get a fast boat. The coupler. I got four seasons out of that. And it still looks like it's in good shape because I know how to drive a boat. But I'm changing it because it's the right thing to do. Change it. Change it. Change it. And uh, just pay, man. Because that's what it is. And pressure test your headers. Don't dick off and say, well, you know, I didn't have any problems with the last year. Do it every season. Take them off the boat and pressure test them. Oh, man. I don't think you got the stomach for it. Maybe you should get out. Maybe you should throw in the towel and go fishing. But when you're ready to sell your soul and you're ready to put this shit ahead of everything else it is you do and bust your ass and pay, 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 then, and only then, will you have a badass boat. Up until then, shut your ass, go get a fishing rod, and go drop an anchor.